one of the easiest ways to boost your score on the GED um, is to study functions because on almost every version of the test there's one or two function questions and um, unlike a lot of concepts in algebra, this one's quick to teach. You know, quadratic equations might take us a while to learn. There's a lot of different ways to look at those. Um, but functions, super simple. So the main thing you need to understand here, our question here says, does the following graph represent a function? Before we deal with the graph, let's just deal with what a function means. Hold on, let me get my screen right out here. Okay, a function. A function. A function is a relationship. So, you know, uh, relationships can take a lot of forms. But relationships in math have some kind of um, relationship between an input variable and an output variable. So we see it on a graph a lot because, as you guys probably know, um, x's are considered input values and y's are considered output values on a graph. And here we have a graph with an x-axis and a y-axis. Okay, the x is the horizontal axis and the y is the vertical axis. Okay, so a function is a relationship but it's a special kind of relationship. It's a relationship where each input value and which one did we say was input? Input is usually x is mapped to one and only one output value. So, and then are we said our outputs were x. So what am I trying to say? Each x has only one y. That's it. Each x you see should have only one y. I often joke that um, if your x is faithful, it's a faithful function. Functions have to be faithful. The x has to be faithful for it to be a function. So basically, the way to check is we're going to examine every x value. So like our graph here is just consisting of a few points. So let's take a look. Here's a value. This point v has a value of, let me get a different pen color out here. This point v here has an x value of negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, and there's nothing else along this negative 2 line. I don't see any other points, so this guy checks. Here, same thing. This is an x value of 0. See how I'm at the 0 on the x, and there's no other uh, values here, x, but right here, this is where I catch this relationship cheating, as I call it. This is an x value right here on the x-axis of 2. I have two different points here. Um, one is the point 2, 0. And one, this one is the point, let's see, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4. And you can see right here that these two points have the same x value, um, but different y's. We caught our x cheating. And so therefore, this graph is not a function. Now there's a quick way to do this test. They call it the vertical line test. To check if a graph is a function, you just run a vertical line across the graph. So you guys know what a vertical line is? It's an up-down line. So I want you to imagine that you just took your pencil or a piece of paper and you just lined it up like this vertically on this graph. And then you just move it. You start sweeping it this way. I really wish I had a better tool to show you this, but I just sit there and sweep it and see if there's any place where a vertical line can catch more than one point. And of course, there was one right here. The second you catch more than one point on a vertical line, your relationship is a cheater and therefore not a function. We found an unfaithful x, so it's not a function. We're going to have a bunch more function videos to follow, so I hope that you will... um. Be paying attention to these because, like I said, this is a really popular topic on the GED that does not take long to learn.